About 10 years ago, I was struggling going through some mental health issues myself yeah. and I was looking for a holistic method to heal and I came across breathwork. To me, breathwork means shifting from passenger to pilot. It allows you to have that space to choose how to respond instead of just reacting. My name is Brian Lay and I'm a breathwork specialist. So can I ask, have you ever tried any breathwork methods before? Mm, not yet. Not really. Usually I don't pay a lot of attention to breathing. Learning was for myself, but I started teaching because I realized that Hong Kong really needed these tools for mental health. So the average person in today's world is in modern society is breathing dysfunctionally. We're gonna start with uh, just a few different assessments. We always say that we are doing healthcare, we are not doing sick care. We want to use technology to provide the service for everyone to access your health anytime, anywhere, in affordable ways. My career dream is actually to go to law school, um, but my uh, father um, passed away from cancer. My father actually went through two surgeries and uh, I saw how desperate and nothing I can do. So I changed my career plan. And uh, right now I'm doing genome editing. So our train as doctor, but for the doctor's tools available are limited. So they always need to develop new medicine. So both our vaccine and antibody, both are first in class. The Navy SEALs, for example, use this method to bring their nervous system back into balance. Uh, I know Silicon Valley execs also use this method as well. So I want you just to close your eyes. In, two, three, four. Pause, two, three. As a CEO, you have to be a firefighter every day. For finding talents, um, building the organization. I feel like every day I'm being pushed out of the comfort zone. The technology is not replacing the doctors or nurses. We are saving the time of the doctors and providing more time to take care of the patient rather than the paper records. We always say in the field, it's very hard to uh, make zero to one transition. From that discovery to actually making a drug, there's still a long distance. So I'm willing to help bridging that gap. How do you feel? See if you feel a bit calmer, a bit less tense. So this is how we can visualize and practice lateral expansion of breath. With each breath that you breathe in, this balloon gets a bit bigger. Hong Kong is developing biotech as a major uh, future industry and future economy. I think everybody should try to invest into Hong Kong and the opportunity is great. We have already established a U.S. subsidiary and we are also trying to do a global clinical trials. When people thinking about genome editing, right, it's like future medicines, but I think it's not tomorrow, it's today. We recently showcased our Anti-Hub solution, a mental health AI technology service in CES. We believe that the technology of healthcare, starting from Hong Kong, will be a reference for the world. Through the power of breathwork, my hope would be to be able to shift their paradigm in terms of how much agency they could develop over their own state. What we all have in common is that we're all trying to optimize the human body through different methods, but still the same goal.